one thing that I came up with is something called arthritis anchors. And, you know, for Arthritis Awareness Month, I really wanted to bring up a topic where we can all think of the people, places, and things that have been there for us in our good, bad, and ugly days. So I posted the question on my Instagram. I'm going to be sharing people's responses and I'm going to be sharing my own take on this. So this is the question that I asked. Who are the people, places, or things that help keep you grounded, supported, cared for, encourage you to keep going, and are there for you during your good and your bad days? Can be anybody or anything from your pet, spouse, friend, doctor, and so on. Share your top three anchors, and if you have more than one, that's fine. So there's people who did post more than three. Basically, what it came down to is people pretty much said, you know, the most important things in their life. And I'm going to read them right now. GF Durnham Region, this is one person's response. She tagged three people on Instagram, and I'm assuming she just talks to them on a daily basis and is friends with them. Yeah, that's her people. Rheumatismatic, I've talked to her several times. What's up, girl? You said you girls, and you tagged me, so thank you for that. I agree, you are one of mine. TLKG had said my husband, sister, and kids. Chronic Spine said my husband, my dogs, and my online community. I just think that's amazing because that's actually one of mine too. Pine Creek Style, you also said your husband, kids, grandkids, dog, a wonderful amount of friends, and extended family. You also said doctors. I'm very fortunate, but a lot of support a lot of the support came from educating them on my rheumatoid arthritis and stir joints. I'm sorry if I butchered that. So that's what people said who answered. And my top three anchors are number one, God, spirituality, my faith, meditation, prayer, just all those combined, I feel have been such a tremendous help in my healing journey if i'm ever feeling in pain or sad depressed or just whatever you know feeling like i'm procrastinating throughout the day and i don't have like good time management skills and i'm just you know i don't know just feeling off those things immediately uplift me when i spend time to myself in a quiet place just meditating praying number two is family and that really ties close into the first one but my family has seen it all they've been there literally through the good the bad and the ugly 24 7 365 days a year and yeah they are my source of support and encouragement through good and bad times and number three i agree with i think it was hold on i don't remember yeah it was chronic spine who said online community that and my friends and networks I feel have been such a great source of support for me. Uh, real-time friends, they obviously are there for you in real time where they can come with you to events that you host or, you know, whatnot. And I just recently did walk to cure arthritis and I was a team captain and some friends came out for that. So that was really nice along with my family member. But the online community that I have, you know, kind of created for myself after I've uh, made my uh, website, I actually created Twitter first, then my website and blog. And then I went on to Instagram and all the other social media accounts. But especially on Instagram, I've met so many people and shared each other's, you know, stories, our journeys, and what we're up to now on our healing path. And really grateful that I actually just summoned up the courage to put myself out there, put my story out there some more, and connect with others because there's seriously so many people out there struggling and going through the same things as you that it's, you know, kind of getting ridiculous. They need to think of something fast. But yeah, tying into my first video that I posted just about why I created my channel and, you know, different ways you can raise awareness, I decided to just share, you know, my arthritis anchors. There's a couple other topics such as arthritis puppies, which I'm really excited to share that. Chronic illness and dating, which that is going to be, I don't know, probably a long one because there's been over like 20 responses to that. So take care, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.